Hey, hey, we're back in Galveston. There's some updates to the terminal that I wanted to share with you. So some of this footage is the original that I filmed right after the terminal opened, and some of it is new, like these sunny shots of the rooftop. Looking pretty good, right? So I wanted to walk you through what it's like to get to Galveston Terminal 10, which is the Royal Caribbean Terminal. So you can see here, this is what it'll look like from the distance. Here you see we're passing by the south parking lot. Then you'll go up to this intersection where you'll have to turn to the right. If you go straight, you'll go into port 14 parking. Uh, if not, you'll come around and you'll see that you'll pass by the north parking lot. You can see it's a little bit more expensive than the south lot, but it is way more convenient. So I'll get into a little bit more details about that later. If you wanna drop off your bags, you roll up and hand your bags to one of the porters and they will load it up and take it in. And then after that, you'll roll back around and you'll need to pick a parking lot. And you should pay for these ahead of time, but you can see there's a north covered lot, a north lot, a south lot, and then there's that Pier 14 lot. What's new is this area has been turned into Pier 14 indoor parking. So there is some indoor parking, not just covered parking available. Here is a map of what the pier looks like. Feel free to pause and you can look at that. There's all your parking areas. Here's a little bit of showing you what it looks like to pull into that north parking lot. And you can see it is right adjacent to the terminal. So if you don't have a ton of bags, it's possible and maybe even recommended that you just go straight to the parking lot and walk your bags from this north parking lot up to the terminal because there's almost nothing in the way. Uh, a few little barriers to try to keep you going on the sidewalks and at the crosswalks, but you know, I recommend you do that. The terminal is beautiful during the day, and then you pass your bags to the porters here if you didn't do it earlier, and head on in. It's a great terminal, very new, very clean, just opened in late 2022, like November. We were on the second sailing out. Some of this footage is from that. If you're in Suites and Pinnacles, you go to the right. Everybody else, like me, goes off to the left for the main check-in. There are big escalators. They help you get up to the whole check-in area. So very easy to do. There are elevators available to go up if you need them. Once you get to the top of the elevator, you'll be checked in. They'll look at your passport, and then you'll be able to go through a security screening which is very similar to an airport security screening, although not quite as strict. You are allowed to bring liquids. You can bring up to 12 bottles or cans at the time of this recording, up to 17 ounces each. So you can bring a full pack of water. I've brought Gatorade. I've brought other stuff that's kind of a secret. It's in one of my other videos of things to pack. So look for that. There are little waiting areas. If you get there early enough, they will put you in these little groups before calling you, but we were there really early and they still didn't need to use them. They just let everybody start getting on the ship. So uh, don't worry about it too much. But if you wanna meet somebody ahead of time, they have a really nice waiting area. This is hardly used, but amazingly comfortable. You can see there's plenty of couches and there's even some cool spots for some selfies or if you wanna take some pictures in the terminal. Of course, you can also take pictures in front of the ship and you gotta check out the Galveston Beach Trio. It's a big sculpture, it looks pretty cool, pretty fun. Grab a picture. Then it's time for All Aboard! And then you head on down the walkway. Of course, what are you going to run into here? You'll get your first look at the ship, but then you'll also be able to take some pictures. These are the pictures in front of the fake backdrops that are pictures of the ship but they're kind of a classic cruise thing, so be sure to check them out. Our photographer for our picture was Tapas. He's a great guy. We saw him later on the ship. So if you see Tapas on any Royal Caribbean cruise, tell him I sent you. Then it's down to the main crosswalk. No, that's not right. Skywalk that goes across from the terminal to the ship. It's amazing. You get another good view of the ship from the outside. You probably won't be getting off the ship for a couple of days after this, so get a good look. Galveston has a lot of dolphins in the water, so I would definitely go and try to spot them. For this particular sailing, this footage came from one of those earliest sailings, and so I think the dolphins were still kind of curious about these ships being in this new spot, so they came over to see us. As you can see, they got extremely close. 
If you love dolphins, it's definitely worth going out and spending a little time looking for them in the Gulf Bay, whatever you call it. Now we're going to jump ahead a little bit to the end of the cruise. A week later, you will be getting off the cruise, and so you can check the TV to see when you should leave. You'll be guided through the ship to where you need to go and off. This is probably the worst feeling time of your cruise, but you've still got to go through security. But at Galveston, it's really, really easy. I cannot stress how quickly this is now. You basically walk up, look at one of these devices, it shows you a green check mark, and off you go. You have now completed customs. It's amazing. That is only if you have a passport, so try to get your passport. It's great for traveling. It's so much more convenient than carrying a birth certificate. So get a passport as soon as you can. Then you'll head down the escalators back under that Galveston Beach Trio, and you'll see all these bags. People will be lined up to get out. Sweets and Pinnacles, of course, get their own special line. La-di-da. The rest of us have to go and pick our bags out of the big pile of bags, but they're pretty well organized. Just be careful if it's raining, because the tags may come off. This one almost did. Then you basically work your way out of the cruise terminal. This footage is from when it was really rainy, and so people were very hesitant to walk outside. When it's sunny, it goes much quicker, so keep that in mind if it's going to be rainy. You come out on this side of the terminal here that I'm showing you. So that gives you a sense of where you'll be going when you leave. And you can see you can walk right back to that north parking lot. So I always recommend that north parking lot area or the north covered lot. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is so convenient, especially if you have a long drive to get home. As you walk back around the terminal, there are shuttle buses to take you to some of the other parking lots. So you can get to the Pier 14 lot, the south lot, but I really do recommend the North Lot or North Covered Lot as a cruising secret. If you know some other secrets, I would love to read those comments below. So share your secrets in the comments. And share the secrets in this video by sharing this video with your friends or your Facebook group that's going to Galveston. I know they'll appreciate it. Soon you'll be on your way home and then it's time to plan your next cruise. Check out this other video I have about cruising and secret you later.